doing such an endeavor for any partner here. It's impossible to do it without the help of the local community, with partners outside of, of the project, with the practitioners that confront the topic every day, but with different perspectives than our own. This is why we wanted to invite practitioners from our region that uh, interact and work with migrants and have a different perspective and they can share it with us. In, uh, in this context, I invite a very esteemed professional from the uh, Mishwara County Hospital, uh, Dr. Andrea Ranza. She is a surgeon, but she is also a teacher at the uh, Madison University. And in this context, she has a lot of contact with uh, students outside of the European space and students that also have to face the challenges of leaving your country, going abroad, and not having all the support you need. Okay, so hi. Um, so she already presented me. My name is Andrea Arta. I'm a vascular surgeon. Uh, and I also teach to the University of Vascular Surgery and also uh, methodology of scientific research. So um, I'm really outside of your box here. <laughs> um, so um, as a part of our teaching process, we have two foreign sections. One uh, English sections and one of uh, French sections. And uh, we need to teach in English respect to French. So um, I'm the unlucky one that needs to teach in French because I, am, I have um, at least 25 years of French in my backpack. Um, at first, um, it was very hard. Um, there are um, students from, especially from uh, former French colonies, that, that, that don't speak um, <coughs> the French that we learned in school, uh, and I uh, didn't understand 90% uh, of what they're saying. So it was very hard. I was young, uh, and I started to ask myself questions: how to change things because. Um, I, uh, I didn't have the dialogue with them, not at all at first. And uh, I uh, couldn't pronounce their names, it was a uh, horror. <laughs> uh, and we started step by step, teaching the names, uh, uh, trying to understand them, writing the sentences, and so on. And uh, in the end, we, uh, we managed to have a uh, common language, a common course. And uh, for me to teach them actually surgery because, you know, surgery is hard in uh, practice, it's hard in teaching English and French is uh, heavier also. So, uh, how to teach to immigrants or foreign students? It's, uh, so, here is this guy who is an uh, uh, anthropologist. Uh, and, uh, he developed a theory of cultural differences. There are six items, and I will pass really uh, fast through them. So we have here uh, collectivism versus individualism. Uh, it refers to the degree uh, in which people in a society uh, are divided into groups. Yes. So this is his first point. Uh, this uh, section. Uh, refers to the freedom that societal, the societal um, um, norms give to their citizens. And here, you know, you, you well know these kind of uh, differences. Uh, here is short-term versus long-term orientation. Um, associate the connection uh, from the past experience to the future uh, knowledge or, or the future changes that a society can make. Here is the power business. 
uh, refers to the extent uh, to which less powerful members of a society or less powerful organizations uh, are upset and uh, can change things into their society. Uh, and here uh, it is a referral to the uh, society tolerance capacity. So these six uh, items, if we try to adapt them into the teaching process, uh, we have a plus and we have a um, bonus and we can um, interact with our students much better. Um, so, what did I find in areas of difficulty? Language, first of all. Uh, homesickness or, or culture shock. They are coming from different countries, they are coming here. Uh, we are a less... Um, we have a less accepted society here in our country. Uh, we, they have uh, different educational experience, they are coming from different families. The housing here, social relationships, of course, uh, finances, they are far from home, some of them very far, uh, there are no support here in our area, and of course, uh, it's a common uh, thing for every student fitting into student life. Yes, I think everyone here experienced that. It's a big difference from high school to student life. And uh, we come to the Conclusion, there are differences uh, between students and the teaching uh, staff and between students and students because not everybody is on the same level, of course. So, this is new game, new rules. All students find the university is hard at the beginning. Some find it hard and strange. Some hard, strange and in a new language. And some of them unacceptably wrong. We have, as teacher, we need to address all these issues. So this is a discussion that I have with one of my fourth year students, and uh, I asked them how do uh, you manage other classes. So they said like this: uh, when the professor asked questions, even I, if I know things, I, I, I don't say anything because uh, he is um, afraid that the other classmates are uh, making fun, that uh, he cannot express in a um, uh, common language to be understood by the others and so on. So they prefer to shut up and things pass if they don't get all of the things that we teach them and uh, step by step we are using them. <coughs> So what every student like, in my experience, pre-warning and pre-reading. It's important to tell them um, what will be the next class. Uh, to give them notes, to allow them to record uh, the courses, to give them, to actually give them the courses in our um, in PowerPoint format or PDF or so on, in order for, for for them to be able to read for the next uh, class. So, the less the student is afraid of, uh, about the context, about the, uh, how it will go class and so on, uh, the more he will um, actually be focused on the content that you are teaching to them. So, this is a uh, summary of what I've learned from those years of teaching in uh, the French section. Uh, so, build connection to your students. It's very important. Uh, learn the correct pronunciation of the words. It's uh, mandatory. Uh, integrate small group activities. Uh, I try, we are having 80 students in the uh, foreign section and I try to uh, divide them into small groups in order uh, for me to interact better with each one of them. Uh, the course material, I already told you. Give them the materials, it's not a big deal. 
uh, repeat, rehearse, every uh, lesson, repeat the um, things you learned, the course before, and so on. Um, in every university, should be a library, a web library, and so on. There must be encouraged to go there, to interact with one another, to, one another, to uh, form uh, small groups of um, learning uh, between them in the same area of expertise. Teach them about their academic goals. Uh, every university and school has its own rules. It's important, nobody tells them. We have a secretary that can, must say every day the same thing to any person. Uh, if you can, uh, in between the specific courses and so on, you must tell them a little bit about the university rules, what you should what they should can do, what they are, aren't allowed to do, and so on. Of course, the culture of that always be cultural sensitive. It's very important to them. Um, I uh, saw earlier about uh, Islamophobia. Leave that aside. They are students. They are your students. Uh, they, are, they came here to learn. Be supportive and build a relationship with the classrooms. So, uh, also encourage them to uh, share their experience. Uh, know your students, but don't go there and uh, talk and present your material and that's it. It's important for them to have a dialogue to, uh, to get to know them and also to other. So I asked them a little four or five years ago. Uh, I expected to be, I don't know, 40 students to be exact. And I asked them, where are your homes? Which homes? You, you need to be 40 in the two groups that I um, we don't know each other. After one year in med school, we don't know your home in the same group.